in a misty rainforest on the Pacific coast of Colombia, the sunlight peeked through the trees, making the leaves sparkle. Beneath the dripping ferns and twisting vines lived a very tiny, very bright frog named Goldie. Goldie was not just any frog. She shimmered like a tiny nugget of sunshine. When she hopped, even the birds turned their heads to see that golden glow. Did you know? The golden poison frog lives only in a small part of Colombia's rainforest. That's the only place in the world where you can find them. One morning, Goldie hopped to the river bank and looked at her reflection. Wow, I really am golden, she giggled. That's how she got her name, the Golden Poison Frog, because of a shiny golden yellow skin that gleams in the sunlight. But her golden glow was not just for show, it was a warning. Bright colors in nature often mean, don't touch me, I'm dangerous. Did you know? The golden poison frog skin contains enough poison to harm many animals. But don't worry, they only make poison from tiny bugs they eat in the wild. Frogs in zoos are not poisonous at all because they eat safe foods. Rain pattered on the leaves as Goldie hopped along a mossy log. She passed a colourful butterfly, a curious monkey and even a slithering snake. Everyone in the forest knew Goldie's bright colour meant danger. But Goldie didn't use her power for harm. She used it for protection to remind other animals, I'm not your snack. Did you know? Scientists say one golden poison frog could make enough poison to protect itself for life. But humans should never touch wild frogs. Just look, don't touch. Goldie was not alone. She had a whole family of golden frogs hiding under the leaves. Her babies were called tadpoles and they looked like tiny wiggly commas swimming in puddles. When they grew up, they would change shape, grow legs, lose their tails and turn a shiny golden colour just like her. Did you know a baby frog is called a tadpole and it breathes through gills just like a fish until it grows lungs. Goldie had cousins too. Some were green, others orange, even blue. They lived in different parts of Central and South America. We may look different, Goldie said, but we all play an important part in nature, keeping insect numbers under control. Did you know there are over 170 types of poison dart frogs and not all are gold. They can be red, blue, green, orange or black with spots or stripes. As the sun set, Goldie watched fireflies dance through the rainforest. I may be small, she whispered, but I help keep the forest healthy. I eat the bugs that nibble on the plants and I remind everyone to protect nature's colours. And with that, Goldie gave a happy hop and disappeared into the glittering green jungle. Did you know, every creature, big or small, has a purpose. Frogs help control insects, feed other animals and show when the environment is healthy. And here's Goldie's golden advice. If you ever spot a shiny frog in the rainforest, don't touch, just watch. Admire from afar and remember how magical our world really is. Did you know there are fewer and fewer golden poison frogs left because their rainforest homes are being cut down. 
That is why protecting the rainforest helps Goldie and her friends stay safe. I hope you enjoyed this story. Until next time, please like, share and subscribe.